Hey Southeast, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this morning I was stopped at a traffic light and I looked over and the guy next to me, uh, he just had his head in his hands and leaning against the window kind of. And it was one of those looks that I'm sure you're aware, you know, there's a look like you're bored in traffic and then there's a look that is, I'm exhausted. And, and we get those looks when, it's, when we're looking at the day and it's like, man, I don't know how I'm going to get through the day. Or, or maybe it's your week and you're wondering, like, how am I going to get through the week? Or, or maybe for some of you, it's not a day, it's not a week, it's, it's a month or a season. And you're just, you're just run down, you're worn out, and you're tired. And I was reminded of this passage when I saw that man uh, with his hands and his, when his head in his hands. I was reminded of this passage in Psalms. And it's Psalms 33. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to uh, read the whole thing, but just a couple things jump out at me. Uh, number, verse 6, uh, 33 verse 6, it says this, By the word the Lord, the, by the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breadth of his mouth all their host, and that host is the, the, the stars in the sky that we see. And uh, he gathers the waters of the sea as a heap. He puts the deeps in storehouses. Um, and so he begins and in this passage to talk about just how great God is, that he spoke things into existence. In fact, verse 9 says, For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. It's saying that God is other than creation, which is incredibly important. But, but here's some comforting words. Look at this. If you jump down to verse 16, it says, The king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is false hope for salvation, and by its great might, it cannot rescue. And those moments where we're just exhausted and we're asking ourselves, how are we going to get through this? If you're anything like me, you start to try to manipulate things. You try to figure things out. And, and I'm not saying we don't apply wisdom, but what I am saying is that we're not saved by our cleverness. We're not saved by, you know, manipulating a situation. No, we are saved by the strength of the Lord. And, and that's the thing. If you keep going down then towards the end of the passage, it says, Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in Him because we trust in, because we trust in Him, His holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. And so that's my encouragement for you today. Maybe, maybe you can relate to that guy with his, with his head just in his hands. Um, I just want to remind you that, that God created things by, the, by his voice. And, and our hope is not found in changing circumstances, but our soul finds rest in the gladness of God. And, and we can count, we can count on his steadfast love in our lives. Um, just a couple things this week that we need to make sure that we're, we're looking at as a church, as a body, as a, as a community. Uh, now's the time that we're asking people to sign up for Southeast groups. So make sure that you go online, southeast.cc, and sign up for groups. We have groups that meet on Sunday mornings. We have groups that meet throughout the week. We have fellowship groups. There's all sorts of groups. Get involved in a group. You need the community. I need the community. Um, and then also, we have a special treat this week. Uh, we love it when one of our missionaries, one of the people that we support around the world, come into town. And John Curry, uh, he's our missionary. Uh, he and his wife, uh, Miriam, they are in Germany, and they are visiting with us. And so they will be here with us this Sunday. And John will actually be sharing during the Bible study hour in the morning, so the group hour in the morning, at 9.15, and then he'll share a little bit in the service. Uh, you should come and hear him, especially if you are passionate about missions, or maybe you just want to know uh, kind of what things that we do to support missions. Uh, I had dinner with him and his family and, the, and some of the people on the missions team last night, and it's just fascinating what, what God is doing in and through John and Miriam on the mission field in Germany. Southeast, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week, and again, just a reminder, you can rest in the steadfast love of the Lord.